Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for Tuesday, June 19th. This is for all signs for Tuesday, June 19th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so whenever you watch this and it resonates with you, that's when it will be, okay? It's windy out, you might be able to hear the wind. Somebody is putting in effort to bring abundance back to their life. Working on it. I am working on it. Somebody is taking positive steps forward. You know, I feel as though somebody is accepting the truth of a situation as well. Some sort of truth is being revealed. Something needs to be completed. A karmic lesson. Judgment is a karma card. The world card is a lesson card. A karmic lesson needs to be completed. You know, there needs to be closure, but it hasn't happened yet because the world card is reversed. Somebody needs to take a step. Somebody is trying to find the balance. They are. Somebody is working on re regaining the balance that has been lost because of a karmic lesson. But this, this lesson has to come to an end. You know, it has to be finalized. You know, it has to, their closure is needed, but somebody hasn't had the closure yet. The closure hasn't completed, okay? You guys may need to work together to close this situation, okay? You may need to work together, and then that may not be a feasible option, you know, at this time. So if that's the case, then maybe you have to forgive and move on. Maybe that's the, maybe that's the, less, the lesson is forgiveness because the judgment is a forgiveness card. Either way, somebody is trying to regain the balance in their lives, trying to work on themselves, work on their own inner abundance, maybe even their, their materialistic abundance. Somebody is trying to regain, regain um, definitely some karma here. Okay, there is no doubt about it. There is some karma here. Um, these are both karma cards. They're, they're right together. Okay, there's definitely some sort of finality that is needed in regards to a karmic lesson. It's time to finalize this lesson and take the next step into your future because whatever this this lack of closure is not bringing you the abundance that you need. So, you know, it's time for you to do what's right for you. It's time for you to stand up for yourself. It's time to, for you to see it you know, from a new perspective, and this could be through the eyes of forgiveness, okay, it could be, maybe all you need to do is forgive, release the past, finalize it, and move on, okay, maybe there's, maybe you need to love yourself, maybe you need to nurture yourself, maybe you need to, um, let yourself heal, you know, somebody is going through a period of healing, it's intense healing, intense healing. Somebody's going through a period of intense healing that it was brought on by a karmic event, okay? There was a karmic situation here, and it feels as though now it is time for you to stop criticizing yourself. It is time for you to stop 
Um, being indecisive and it's 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 really time for you to wake up and do the right thing do the right thing for yourself whatever this is i want to get this zoomed in before i go any further or focused um You know, some of, for some of you, this could have to do with money, okay? Some of you are trying to regain some balance in your financial situation by putting in a lot of effort, by um, really focusing, looking at a new perspective, coming up with a new plan. Somebody is, is trying to um, remain flexible to... To bring in, bring in um, some sort of financial abundance, you know, they're, they're trying to figure out what option, come up with new, come up with a new plan, come up with a new option. Maybe you have to let go of something so that you can bring balance back. Maybe you need to let go of something that is costing you money. Okay, maybe something has to go, and you have to put your effort into a new avenue to become abundant. That could certainly be the case if this is a financial aspect. There is a there is a new there is a raw opportunity a new opportunity for um, growth and it comes through uh, hard work so I think that somebody is receiving an opportunity for growth if they can follow their passions if they choose to expand okay there's a there's room for expansion here and i think that somebody is trying to come up with a plan on how they can expand to become abundant whether this is you know internally or financially somebody is receiving you know an opportunity for growth that leads to expansion okay what well, however this resonates with you there's been some some period of time where things have been out of balance but it feels like you are you're you're doing whatever you have to do to bring that balance back, which in, which could include uh, hard work. I'm 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 ready to uh, really 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 work on this. You know, I've received this sort of epiphany. Somebody has somebody has received an epiphany that is probably helping them to. make the right choices to bring balance back to your life somebody in this who's watching this is really seeking balance i am really seeking balance i'm seriously okay balance is a big deal today i'm trying to remain balanced i'm trying to remain flexible i'm trying to keep things in order and and follow my heart at the same time so i feel as though today is a day of coming up with a a new outlook okay somebody is trying to figure out how I'm going to make this work, how I'm going to move forward, how I'm going to close this this door that has left me feeling empty, you know, lost. There's Somebody has been feeling a little lost. They may have um, refused to, to step on a new path or to start a new chapter, you know, stuck in their old ways. And now it feels as, but it left them feeling incomplete and empty. And therefore now they have to, they have to follow their heart and their mind in this situation. It's like, you know what? My heart is saying that I have room for expansion. My heart says that, you know, I need to follow it, but you know, I'm, I, I have to be wise here too, because we have heart and mind. Somebody has to use their heart as well as their mind, you know, and really make and compromise the two, put the two together because here we have this this two of coins. It's about really coming up with a a plan that is going to allow you to be happy, but wise okay something that is going to allow you to
get what you want because the Queen of Swords gets what she wants what she wants. I want what I want. This is what I want, you know. So I feel like this is about juggling the two, heart versus mind, really, really compromising, putting together, you know. You have to make a heart and mind decision, not just one. And that's where the balance lies. You know, you need to be able to balance the two, balance your heart and your mind. Just don't go with your heart, just don't go with your mind. Go make this decision. There's a decision that needs to be made here. There is in regards to your future, your next chapter, but it's going to be a heart and mind decision and you're going to have to really juggle the two evenly. Try to to equal your decision you know, equally between the two because this is equally as well. It's about making a decision that is is based on both factors, heart and mind. And I feel as though there is a new opportunity for growth if you can do that, if you can really use both in this decision that you have to make. There is a decision that you have to make in regards to your abundance, whether it's inner or financial, that is going to ask you to really, really, really think about this. What is, is it, is it going to fulfill you emotionally? And is it, is it, is it, is it a wise decision? You know, that's, that's, you know, this is what today is about. It's about regaining some sort of balance that has been lost in your life just so, so that you can start a new chapter you know without bringing the past hurts and, or whatever this past karma with you because um, there's definitely some sort of karma here there is there's a karmic lesson here in regards to doing too much at one time you know not thinking before you act um, somebody could be somebody could have been unable to make solid decisions because they were they were Overwhelmed, overwhelmed with juggling, juggling life, juggling money, juggling everything too much. This is, this is, this is like overwhelming, okay? It is. It's like there's, there's an overwhelming amount of emptiness because it was, there's just too much. There's, there is. It's too much. Maybe something has to go, like I said earlier. Something is, is overwhelming. And if it doesn't serve your heart, then it's not going to work out. And part of, part of this karmic lesson has to do with following your heart and your mind, not just one. You have to balance them out. So I think today's message is about balance, about regaining balance. There's room for expansion here if you can... If you can use the two together, you know, if you can make decisions based on both, you know, I feel as though there is some sort of revelation on the horizon that has potential to change your life if you If you are ready to make a solid decision, you know, it's like there's a lot of, this is indecisiveness. This is a decision. She's very decisive, but this is indecisiveness. You have to make a decision here. Somebody has been indecisive and it's been causing them a lot of imbalance. There's a lot of imbalance here and you are being called to bring the balance back to your life. And so that's what you're thinking about is how, how am I going to, you know, get my life back on track? What do I need to do to get my life back on track? That's the question of the day, and that's about working together. That's about making some compromises. That's about communication. It's about teamwork. It's about um, 
doing the right thing and following your heart, using your mind at the same time, letting go of what doesn't serve you, letting go of whatever is dropping one of these things. So I think something needs to be dropped. You know, you're, you're doing too much, you know, and there's a feeling of of emptiness and a lack of completion in a chapter because somebody has been unable to drop something and something does need to be dropped and I feel like there's going to be a revelation today or an epiphany that comes about that says you know I don't need this anymore I don't need it I don't I really don't it's not abundant there's something that you've been holding on to that isn't bringing you growth it isn't and you have room for growth if you can just let it go so I'm not sure what this is you know this could be something materialistic it could be a partner partnership or something could be a grudge I don't know what this is something needs to be let go of so that you can regain the balance in your life you know some there's been a lot of um, indecisiveness about where your passion lies and the fact of the matter is is that you have an opportunity for growth here if you can make a decision to follow your heart and your mind you know both not just one just you have to make this decision whatever it is that you're making there's a decision that you have to make that needs to be based on not just one but both heart and mind So I'm not sure what the decision is, but I feel like somebody is is really having a lot of ups and downs in their life because they've been indecisive. They they haven't they haven't they haven't used both as well. They haven't used their heart and their mind. They've used one one of them so this is a this is a day of, of using both you know with whatever decision that you need to make you need to, you need to use both this juggling life is is too much it's too much I don't want to juggle I want it to I wanted to even out Synchronicity. Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time? People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. For some of you, there's a new exciting opportunity waiting for you. This is the Ace of Wands. There's growth, there's fertility, there's expansion. But you need to stop criticizing yourself. You need to stop being indecisive. You're going to have to work. Work on it. Work as a team. Work together. You're going to have to be truthful and honest with yourself. You're going to have to step over that finish line that you have been avoiding. And you're going to have to follow your heart and your mind in this decision that you are about to make. There is a major decision, a big one, big decision that you need to make in regards to your future. Closure is needed in one situation because it's bringing you a lot of ups and downs in your life because no closure has been had.
something needs to be dealt with so that you can move on and regain the balance and the happiness in your life. So I'm not sure what this is. But this is a day of doing whatever you need to do to bring the balance back. A father's love. A father's love for his son or daughter never dies. The strength gained from such love is often unquantifiable and that it can be tapped into at any time for whatever reason, whether your father is still here or has passed. A father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience. This could go all the way back to your childhood. Something, you know, to do with a father, whatever this reading is about. There could have been abandonment issues that have left you feeling like you have to protect yourself. You can't follow your heart. You're never going to be good enough. Whatever the case of it is, I don't know what that is. Maybe you were criticized by a father when you were a child and therefore you're unable to feel abundant with who you are now. And maybe that's what needs to go, that thought. Forgiveness is needed. It is, forgiveness is here. Forgiveness is needed here. It is so that you can move on. Soul power. Always remember, you're a soul that comes with a body. Not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence, and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. Follow your heart and your mind, not just one. Follow your soul. You have to make a decision today or tomorrow or soon in regards to honoring yourself, your own self. I feel like today is a day of regaining balance, doing whatever you have to do to bring that balance back to your life. So this is what I have for today. I feel like this is a day of balance. Talk to you later.